what's up guys it's Lily so today's video is going to be my opinions on the new upcoming trend called strobing so if you don't know what strobing is it's pretty much I think it's gonna become like a big trend where you just get rid of all your bronzers and all your contour shades and all you do on your cheeks is put blush and you put highlighter like a ton of highlighter on your cheekbones your chin your cupid's bow tip of the nose forehead arch of brow your brow bone in your inner corner. So that's kind of the trend that's happening right now and it's called strobing. So I'll insert the picture right here where it kind of became like a big thing. But yeah, um, so today I'm going to give my thoughts on that trend and I'm going to show you guys how I would strobe if I were wanted to strobe and some tips that I would give you guys and yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so we're first going to start on how to strobe. And this is how I would personally strobe. And I'm just going to teach you guys and give you guys a couple of tips about it. So, um, for blush, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Petal Power. This is a very, very shimmery, gold, pink blush. Um, and this just goes the extra mile because this gives a very, very pretty glow on your cheeks. Um, so you're going to be very glowy if you put this blush on with a highlighter. And the brush I will be using is the Sigma F50 Duo Fiber Brush. So I'm just going to put this on my cheeks. I'm going to put it on the apples and then just blend it back. Okay, so now on to the highlighting portion. So, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Sand Highlighter from their contour kit. Oops, it's this one. Um, and I'm going to use a Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm really going to pack it on because this highlighter is a little bit more sheer. So I'm going to really pack it on. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply it right on the cheekbones. And kind of like right there too. Ooh, you can see that really well. Okay, so now we're going to put it right on the forehead. Then we're going to do it on the chin. And also, I forgot this place. You want to put it right there. So if you were to have a contour, which would be right here, you just want to highlight right there so it kind of makes your cheeks um, more structured but without contouring. So... That... I can't really see it. That doesn't really do anything, but... It's cool. It's cool. So now I'm going to take my pinky and I'm just going to highlight my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. Also, you want to highlight the right on the top of your arch of your brow. And you want to do your brow bone, just right under there. In your inner corner. I already have mine highlighted, but I'll just add a little bit more so you guys can see. Okay guys, so I just turned the flash on my phone just because the lighting is kind of bad for you guys to see the highlighter. Um, and so I turned on my flash just to make it a little bit better. So there it is. This is what the strobing trend is going to look like. I look like a glowing disco ball right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now my thoughts on strobing. Um, firstly, I feel like I feel like people should ha be able to like have bronzer on like you know because it kind of gives bronzer gives the face like a sun-kissed look and it makes it natural like this is my personal opinion that I feel like this does not look natural I mean it makes you look wet and I don't really understand what's 
good about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like bronzer because it gives you like a really nice sun-kissed look and it gives your face just like a nice warmth. And that's, I think that's very nice. I think it looks really good on the face. I think it's really flattering, but I really don't think that this is very flattering. I don't know. I don't really know what the point of looking wet is. Um, I don't know. Also, it's kind of discriminating oily people because oily people can't really do this. I mean, they can highlight, but it has it can be more subtle um, because by the end of the day, if they highlight like this, they're going to be like really, really shiny, like super shiny. Um, and so, I don't know. I just feel like it's this trend isn't really good for like oily people because they can't really do this. They have to do more subtle and then by the end of the day they're going to look like this but there's no really, there's not really a point to that because if it's the end of the day no one's really going to see it. So yeah, um, I don't know. I just feel like it's, this trend isn't very good for oily people um, which isn't good. So yeah, those are pretty much my only thoughts about this trend. I, again, that's my personal opinion. You can have your opinion if you love this trend and you hope this becomes a big thing you do you, you have your opinions, and you rock that wet highlight, um, no judgment, like, so many people are loving this trend right now, um, that's just my personal opinion, um, and, yeah, so, yeah, that was just a quick, short video on my opinions on strobing, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thumbs up this video if you want this to become, like, a giant trend that people are gonna be doing, um, because I bet a lot of people want this to become a trend. Um, and yeah, so I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.